So I've just touched down in Mendoza, very excited. First time in uh, South America, first time in this continent, first time in Argentina. We got a briefing at 2 p.m. They're going to go over all the kit that I have and whether I need any more, and uh, then we're going to take a chill, chill day here. And then tomorrow we're heading for the mountains. It's 9.30 in the morning, we're just heading out to get our permits for the mountain. It's going to set us back a cool 810 US dollars to be able to get into the park and they'll be checked at the park entrance and then get up this mountain. <laughs> The so we get the it's uh, a huge ice building there. It is, but uh, just yeah. Yeah. Other source? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. Is the company the Hikers have put all their messages on the wall here. Yeah. Yeah. What a long, hard slog, but worth every step. Okay. See behind me, the mountains have got a lot bigger up there. Uh, massively big, but it's still warm except for some wind. Just at the park entrance of Aconcagua National Park getting our permits checked. Entrance park, seen a couple of mules. Also got the helicopter here behind me for any rescues needed off the mountain. And it's around three hours and a half to get to Confluencia, kind of base camp one. So we just got into base camp and we've already had squash, tea, aubergines, chocolate balls, and it's not even dinner. <laughs> what are we talking about? It's not chocolate balls. These four tents here are our two man tents. Not a hell of a lot, much space in it when myself and Craig can pack big. Craig's got two duffel bags. 
duffel bag in there and the backpack and this is the amount of space that we've got. Oh, New Year's Eve, 6pm in Mendoza, sorry Argentina. It's New Year in Russia, so we're pouring out the wine. Countdown to New Year, England! Three, two, one! Happy New Year! So 1st of January 2020, start of the new year and the new decade. And, and we are just... there will be no breakfast or lunch or dinner in this video. <laughs> there will not be. But there will be information that we're about to do an acclimatization walk before coming back here to do a medical checkup at the end. So we made it to Plaza Francia, 4,000 meters for our climatization walk. So as part of the permit for Aconcagua, doctors have to check you out at both base camps. They look at your oxygen saturation levels, they look at your pulse rate, they look at your lungs, they look at your blood pressure. So I've just been checked out by the doc. I've got saturation of 92% with a heart rate of 100. So that's okay at this point. So it's time to leave Confluencia camp. We're just about to have breakfast and then we've got a 23 kilometer walk up to Plaza de Mulas base camp two, proper base camp at 4,400 meters. So we've just got our duffel bags ready. Luckily, they're about 25K each and they're going up on mules on the Mulas to Plaza de Mulas and uh, we're taking our bags. I've still got a 70 litre big backpack to take, so about 12 kg. And it's about eight hours walking today, so it's gonna be fun. medium headache. I'm going as tough so the group are ahead of me. I'm a little bit behind. <sighs> so eight hours done. It's been a bit of a struggle for me the last couple of hours but we made it to Plaza de Mulas, 4,400 meters. As you can hear already I'm struggling to speak and, and uh, luckily we are here for a couple of nights for some good acclimatization. <sighs> Just taking my oxygen, it's sitting at 85. <laughs> Today is our rest day at Plaza de Mulas, but apparently even on a rest day that means you have to go for a two hour walk. So we're just gaining some height, just helping with the acclimatization, but hopefully be back from camp uh, in the afternoon to relax before tomorrow we're hitting Camp 1, Canada, above base camp. So camp one, two and three are above us and you can see all the way up to the summit.
So we've been in base camp for two nights. We're just about to head to Camp 1, Canada, 5,100 metres. So 700 metres up, spend half an hour there, and then to come back down to help with acclimatisation. So just all getting ready at the moment. We left Argentina, we are now in Canada, Camp 1 Canada at 5,000 metres. Uh, so quite a way of our base camp. Uh, we're not going to camp here on any of our nights because there's not any uh, water at Camp 1. So there are a few die-hard guys behind me, uh, but no water Camp 1 Canada, no water Camp 3 cholera, which is kind of strange because you need dodgy water to get cholera, but there ain't any water up there. So we've just gone up to 5-2 and the guys have made me scree run, which I hate, all the way down. Today, we've got a little bit of altitude sickness, we've got the squits, I cry down the mountain because we had to scree run down the mountain. My hips are short and it's my birthday. What a combination. So this is the joy of life, I paid five bucks for a Coke, which is quite reasonable actually birthday drink. Oxygen saturation at times has dropped to like 65, 70. We went on acclimatization yesterday to 5.2 and look at that. 93% oxygen saturation, 81 beats per minute. Best I've had in the last week. <laughs> but now it's going down because I'm excited. 90. <gasps> Hold my breath. This is one. It's huge. How are you? I'm good. Very good. Uh, some diarrhea yesterday. Diarrhea today? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday and today, how are you? Fine. Perfect. Cold rest day at base camp yesterday. Now packed a 70 litre bag with sleeping stuff and warm clothes. And we're heading up to Nido de Condores, uh, camp two at 5,600 meters. We made it to 5.2, which is where we were before. We've got nice packs, we've now got big boy packs, full weather gear. It's uh, snowing, I don't know if you can see that. We're literally 5,600 meters, so we're about 300 meters off the top of Kilimanjaro, and you only camp at 4,800 for Kilimanjaro, so we're already 800 meters above that. Just 40 meters below the summit of Elbrus. 14 meters below the summit of Elbrus, about 800 meters above the summit of Mont Blanc, and we've had to come up in literally four layers today, even though we're still a kilometer or so from the summit. I've had base layer light fleece, light down jacket and uh, my 400 pound windproof jacket which literally stops everything. So it's going to be fun getting up in the morning in about a week's time to summit this bad boy. I'm going to be wearing a massive down jacket, maybe even an extra layer, I might go five or six layers. That's how cold it is up here. What discussion? Oh yeah, I'm doing no spo spooning, Nick. I'm I'm just forking tonight. It's a life or death situation, boys. It depends what you want, life or death. This is dinner at 5,600 meters. Cheese salami, bread, soup.
but last night it was minus 12 degrees in the tents and whenever you touch the side you'd get snow falling onto your sleeping bag. All my contact lenses froze apart from two. I'm lucky to be able to see today. Today we're going to do a little bit of a couple of hours up here acclimatizing then we're going back to base camp and then the weather is horrific up here so we're just going to have to wait for a clear window. We'll probably be sat in base camp for about four days. Boys prepping or maybe obsessing over crampon and double boot wear. Friday the 10th of January in the double plastic boots. We're about to make our summit attempt up to Nido today. And then early on the 11th up to 6962 meters. Woo! Uh, snow forecast is saying it's uh, 70 kilometer winds. Mountain forecast is saying 80 kilometer winds. So we're gonna see if we can uh, smash it and get to the top. So you can't see much, but it is 1 a.m. 1.30 a.m. on the 11th of January. We just got up in the middle of the night. We're going to make our summit push on Aconcagua. I probably won't be uh, videoing much because all my energy will be going into, into walking and breathing. So, two o'clock, just getting ready to leave. Summit attempt. So we've just hit dawn. Haven't vlogged anything during the night. We came up past cholera camp at 5.9. We are just chilling at about 6,200 meters. Got on crampons. Took 12 hours to get up here. Started at 2 a.m. Summited at, uh, well, 12 and a half. 12. Summited at 2.45. PM. This little cross behind me is the highest point in South America, 6,962 meters, highest mountain outside the Himalayas. Bosh, done. Now I just have to get down. It was 80 kilometers an hour winds. We had crampons on. So Just leaving Plaza de Mulas for the last time. They give you an orange bag to shit in above Plaza de Mulas. I didn't use mine because I had shit beforehand. So I used a ton of Imodium and they charge you 300 bucks. I managed by uh, showing him pills and chatting to him for ages to get away with the 300 bucks. First one to leave because it's uh, got blisters on the feet so I want to get started, get going. It's now eight hours walk to the park entrance. Just uh, been down the dry riverbed, about two hours from Confluenzia. Been walking for hours. Thought they'd be on me by now. It's been a really lovely time to reflect on the journey and what we've uh, achieved and notice all the hurts. I've got bleeding nails, uh, blood blisters, blisters on my feet. We left four at Plaza de Mulas. Five of us did, I think, a 32 kilometer walk in one day just handed back my permit into the office here, the park rangers, and in the nicest possible way, I will never be back on this mountain. Done. Actually, on a bus to Mendoza, three hours. 
been emotional. Two days, 18 hours on the mountain summit. The whole day getting down. Tomorrow is wet wine and steak. Probably the most emotional mountain I've ever climbed. Oh,